Yeah, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Denali, aka Don Squally, back at y'all with another YouTube video, man. So I said with this new car, we are going to try to bring as much content um, as possible. And, well, I'm going to try to stick to my word. Uh, so today, what we're going to do is pull the Duckbill spoiler off of the G35 Project car. Now, luckily for me, when I threw my Duckbill trunk on my car, I did save this trunk. Now, my plan was to do another Duckbill spoiler and then ironically sell it for a little bit of money. But since I already have this spoiler on this car, I figured I might as well just do the swap right now. Now, the reason that I did want to do this originally, I've had a few comments on my last video um, saying that I could should keep the Duckbill spoiler, and I think it would be cool to have. It's a nice trunk and everything like that. However, this, this specific uh, G35 here is pretty beat up. As you can see, there's a couple dents here on the side doors couple of scratches there the back bumper has holes from where the old reverse sensors used to be so that's kind of ugly uh, looks like there was a part here that was touched up so if you look closely at this car this thing is actually not really uh, very good looking so there's really no point in me trying to make it look good especially if I can sell this to somebody who would actually put it on their car that's gonna make it look decent and um, I mean this thing really I could probably make it look nice with a set of wheels and touch a few things up here and there but since it's going to be a beater i'm just thinking i'm going to take this trunk off put my old trunk on this thing and um probably sell this thing on a couple of the facebook groups so like i say hit me up if you want to buy any of these any of these parts on instagram but what i'm thinking i'm going to do is probably just set up the tripod here open this trunk uh take this one off and put the old one on here and this thing does have a black roof so with the black trunk it's not going to look entirely out of place i think it might actually look pretty cool with the uh black plastic trim along the bottom so i'm gonna put the camera down and get started and uh maybe take a couple action shots for you guys Probably going to keep these for the time being. Alrighty, well, we got the inside of the trunk all taken off. It was pretty easy. Now what I'm going to do is undo the bolts on the inside here, and then we should be able to pop this off. Now, I do have the other brackets already attached to my other trunk lid. As you guys know, I stripped these little screw holes here. Wasn't able to get them off of my other trunk, but I'll just leave them on this trunk so whoever buys it uh, can get that. I got a sweater under each side, so once I pop these brackets off, should just be free to pull off. And there is the duckbill spoiler, so I'm just going to put this in storage. I'm going to post a couple of pictures of it, and um, if anybody wants that, hit me up. It's definitely going to need a little bit of paint work. Um, the body work wasn't really done all that well on this, so you're probably going to want to redo a few things on it. But uh, definitely let me know, and um, yeah, I'm going to go get the other trunk. Put that on right now. Alrighty, so I got the girlfriend to help me put the trunk on. I've just got a couple of bolts here to screw in. And uh, once I screw those in, I'll put in the lights. I'm not going to film any more of that. You guys saw this when I put on my duckbill trunk. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on. Uh, the latch and everything, make sure it works. And then I'll give you guys a little walk around of it. Alrighty, so I got everything bolted up. Lights are looking good. Now one thing I do want to do before I close the trunk make sure our latch is working properly so that we don't get stuck outside of our trunk and i'm gonna close it and see what it looks like man 
I actually don't even think that it looks that bad to be honest. Let's get a little walk around. So right off of the bat, I actually really like the way that this looks. If you guys noticed before, the roof of this car is actually already vinyl wrapped black. So I think the black trunk's actually going to be a nice touch. Now we are going to have to spend a little bit of time get off this adhesive from the spoiler. I do still have the G35 spoiler, the stock one. I don't think I'm going to put it on. I kind of had it on this car at one point and I just think it's run its course a little bit. So I think this actually looks pretty good. Now, like I said in my previous video, I do have a hood from a black hood from a black G35 that I was just thinking as I was putting this on, like I just put this on to sell the uh, duck bill, but I was thinking I could put the black hood on here and that would actually match this car really nicely, change up the look just a little bit. And I think this is actually not a bad look, man. It's kind of low key, well not really low key, but it's a little bit more low key than what was on there before. Now I'll probably go ahead and Plasti dip the infinity badge just because now with the black trunk Kind of stands out just a little bit. It looks like these tail lights have had a little bit of VHT on them in their life But I kind of like it man, but really the whole point of this video was to sell the duckbill spoiler So if you guys are in the GTA and uh, want to buy the duckbill spoiler off of that G35 definitely hit me up like I say, right now I'm just kind of uh, trying to make back a little bit of cash and I think somebody um, who really wants a duck bill, like I already have one, so I don't need another one. Uh, I think that's somebody that can appreciate that a little bit more. Um, we'll probably put it to better use. Uh, before the time being, man, I'm thinking we're probably gonna put an end to this one. Uh, this is how the G35 project car sits. For the time being, man, can't wait to get a, some new wheels on here. We're waiting on my buddy to come and trade me for these snows, but uh, probably do a little video of that in the future. But with that being said, I am your boy D Nolly, a.k.a. Don Squally. I just want to say thank you guys for watching, and we're going to catch y'all at the next one, man.